Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my garden. So um, today I'm continuing with the project that I, we started on the side of our house. And um, I've been digging quite a bit. And you, you have probably, you know, whoever has been following us to when we started this project. And um, so we are continuing. And for anyone that um, are new uh, to our videos and you know not really sure what's going on here that we started this project on the side of the house i'm gardening in um as much as far as my research i'm gardening in zone 8b i'm in mediterranean so zone 8b equivalent of usd uh usda zone so um anyway i just wanted to update you what was what's happening here so in my last video you guys have seen that i planted this eucalyptus um, right here and they're doing really really good I think they will be just beautiful beautiful uh, structural piece uh, for, for this area right here so I started digging as you can see I got this far and then last uh, last week or so I have been trying to continue digging so as far as I've gotten is right here so I have moved down all the way to um, towards uh, towards where i started in this part here and i basically i connected them and then i went behind the tree um, and i started digging and curved it to go around so i don't want to go too far out because this is in our neighbor's property here but and actually in fact this part is in our neighbor's property but they're so gracious to let me um, take, you can plant here the way I really want to and they really have the children they don't really like to deal with it and I can maintain it and it will look good on my on our from our part at least especially when um, these evergreens uh, start to grow and kind of have a nice you know form a nice hedge so it will give us a bit of a more privacy so I think they're very happy with that so anyway I've curved here and I kind of want to not go too far out but kind of connect with those trees uh, there is a beautiful big large viburn and probably has been here for years and years multi-trunk the other one is a crepe myrtle right behind it which will go on the other side and we can see that so i'm trying to kind of make a closure here because i don't want to go too far out there is a steep hill there and um, in order to tackle that part of our garden i we have to probably bring machineries and actually have a plan which you know I'm not really ready to tackle that area yet I have plenty to do this area before I can be ready to even start there so I want to wrap up right here but in the meantime this area just I'm so happy because this area was saturated with lots of rhizomes of different plants it was just a jungle really and uh, every time I would uh, walk by here and I'm like I don't even know how in the world i'm going to tackle this because it just seemed bigger than um you know i would even have strength to do it honestly <laughs> but i knew i had to start somewhere and then our neighbors our new neighbors when they arrived they were doing landscaping at their front garden and we talked about it and you know and you know we both agreed that it would be kind of nice to tackle somewhere so long story short i we went ahead and cut everything down i cut you know a whole bunch of stuff out we chip they had a chipping machine which we helped us to chip everything and so I'm using that as a cover mulch for my front garden and um, so um, they gave me freedom to do whatever I wanted with that area which is beautiful I got um, we, we started tilling the soil anyway we got a whole bunch of stuff planted and so now I'm moving down this way um, today what I'm going to do though, I'm going to plant three David Aston roses. I'm really excited. They're called um, a golden celebration and I'm also going to plant um, three um, uh, ginger, nine, uh, ginger wine nine bark uh, lady in red. 
I love the name lady in red i just thought it was just for that it was like worth it to have <laughs> have them in my garden i absolutely adore the name but they are going here let's go ahead and i'll show you so what i wanted to do is plant three david austin roses kind of in a uh, spread of a grouping of three and i also have three um uh, ginger wine nine bark which I'm also going to group as three now ginger wine nine bark has that beautiful uh, red uh, coloring to it beautiful foliage um, so here I have them they're kind of small and they're so ready to come out of their containers you can see I ordered them online now these guys don't get very big so they will probably be about a meter and a half to two meters what I read so um, in a, just a small shrub and they will also flower but they're mostly uh, gorgeous because of their foliage and having to uh, plant them with the colors that I have going here it's mostly red and blues and yellows I think this will bring a beautiful um, red uh, specimen or element to this garden and warm up the uh, uh, yellows and blues etc so what I'm thinking to do today is to go ahead and plant them somewhere right here so i have two um, uh, golden celebrations here they are now this area you can see it's shady but it does get quite a bit of a sun in the afternoon so i'm hoping that uh, everything else that i do would also shield my hydrangeas a little bit so um, morning sun comes from there but uh, in the afternoon we get uh, blasted for not for very long but we, we get blasted with the hot sun here so I have this beautiful plant I'm I am thinking to plant in between these two golden celebration roses right here and we'll pop the picture on the screen so you guys can see what they look like they're really beautiful uh, they have a you know more golden yellow color to them so I think they would be really pretty with this combination of colors. And uh, I have two left, which I am planning on planting one right here, somewhere right here. And I'll bring the dirt forward a little bit. So um, this will, when the sun comes in this way, I think this will be really pretty because I have the blue, I have the red, I have the yellow and then red. And then when the sun comes in, from either side they will just glow it will be absolutely gorgeous I think so as they start growing and maturing I could trim some of these trees um, uh, or these tree branches to help the Sun to come in from this side a little more to get them light even more but I realized that in a hot Sun roses actually do much better in part Sun than in a absolute blazing sun all day long like i have a ton of roses in my garden and i tell you some of the roses that are in a absolute uh open sun all day long they just not performing as well they they just don't like it and i i've had some such good luck having them in a partial shade environment and so and i think they will be really they will do really well here uh, they're shrub roses and they probably will perform really good in this area so this one i am thinking to go ahead and plant which like this one i have to probably cut today and get these guys out from here um, but this one i'm thinking to plant plant probably somewhere right here and i will have to go from the other side and take a look and see how they look but thinking maybe somewhere right here maybe a little bit Farther, something like that but you know in the future what I can do I can also I'm also planning on maybe coming uh, planting a few more like a uh, different colors of hookers maybe in a red tones which I think it's going to be really pretty um, but you know one step at a time but this can be filled and it can be um, brought to light a little more as we continue on with this project so I'm going back here to take a look it's always important to look to see how from the far to see how they how they look so I'm gonna stand here on the stairs and um, looking back so it seems like 
these two are a really nice spot. The other one is in a great spot too, but I do need to bring the uh, dirt a little forward because right now it's, you know, made, made into the hill because I've been digging. So I'll even that out, which will make it, which I can, at this at that point, I can plant the uh, ginger wine nine bark a little farther out. And that would probably be really nice. So, and then I wanted to tell you that I had my third golden celebration rose here on this side and um, again this this is kind of shady area here but I think it will do just fine because as it matures I will start uh, cutting some of the branches letting the light in and it will be plenty of light I think for the shrub rose right here so it will flow really really well right here so I will go ahead and get this started get this done and I hope you guys will um, enjoy watching me plant everything. This, um, they're very root bound that you can see they've been in a container for a long time. So what I'm doing is just basically teasing the roots a little bit. And so they start gripping the uh, soil and keep starting to develop. And also I'm using uh, micro, micro fungi? Is that what it's called? I just totally lost that. Micro rhizum. Mycorrhizum fungi in the so I'm I am also using mycorrhizum fungi in a hole to, to help them um, with their root development quickly. I had really great luck with them. I don't know how I've done it before and grew the entire garden without any um, starter fertilizer. <laughs> but I'm loving using this product. Okay. So, so there is our three nine bark nine uh, ginger nine, wine nine barks. Oh, my hair. Into the ground. I think I'm going to water them really quick first before I move to my next um, rose. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and planted uh, three ginger wine nine bark 
lady in red i love how they look i, I think it's going to be beautiful here and i also because <laughs> george had to run and get some a mosquito spray he, he was getting it not by mosquitoes so i went ahead and planted um a golden celebration rose right there and this one was a hard one and i thought you know it might be just better for me to just go ahead and plant it because i had to get in in the middle of those branches i had stuff stuck on me and so i wasn't really that pleasant in a camera to get it done but i got it and it's planted will go over in a moment and we'll see that but at the moment right now i'm going to water my uh, lady in red and then i'm going to plant these two beautiful roses right here um, I'll, I'll place them again, I'll look again, because do, when I m film what I do, I always get nervous and I try to make it quick um, without looking and then I look back and I see mistakes that I've made, so I really want to take my time, make sure I do it once, so I don't have to come back and fix it afterwards, so I'm, I will go back, look, look one more time, just to make sure that they are in the right place and then we'll go ahead and plant them. <music> Okay, for the roses, um, I'm planting, when I plant my roses, I really like to use mycorrhizan fungi, which I usually use, or you guys, you know, in the US it's easy to get biotone, it's the best. Um, here I can't get that, unfortunately. Um, and I'm also, I also like to use my um, bone uh, fish and blood. Uh, fertilizer because I think it helps with blooming etc so and I hear that they're really good for the roses and so I'm going to start using them a little bit on the roses and see how they you know how it works for them um, also I'm using infuse which is a systemic um, insecticide usually I use this for my roses and I actually purchased this from the US last year uh, and I hope I can get it more because I mean this is organic for organic gardening and everything but um, this will ha this really helps with the black spots I in our area the summers are really dry but in uh, winter time we get lots of rain etc it gets quite moist and wet in this area um, so I've had um, all my roses get affected by, you know, uh, black spots and uh, yellow leaves and etc. Since I started using this um, last uh, season, I think I used it in November. I haven't. I think I will use again this November. Not very often, but especially when I plant them, I just go ahead and uh, throw some in a hole. Now, for David Austin roses, they're such a healthy plants I mean I've planted them I have no problems with them so usually you probably will not even have an issue with this plant because they're so healthy but I'm just going to use them anyway uh, because I just don't want to have them to um, start developing disease or anything like that funguses and uh, this is really good product I mean it helps them to helps the uh, roses to absorb this through their roots and start get, um, getting immunity against diseases so eventually they will really just be very resistant to the uh, fungicide fungus and those type of things that they are more um, uh, prone to to get basically i also use them on clematis because in our area clematis also can get a wilt and stuff anyway we'll go ahead and get this rose in it's looking good really excited Oh, and I wanted to mention, I am not amending the soil very much. I will apply some manure to the hole with the mixing of the soil, but I'm not going to amend too much because, uh, in fact, when I was digging this area under the pine trees, 
um, it's a really good soil. It has literally almost no clay. I have not added anything to this soil and look how good this soil is. I mean, it has lots of organic material in here already, it seemed like. So I'm not really going to add much. It's just, that I'll just use some manure and um, I think we'll just call it good in, in that way. Okay, so I finished planting the roses and I just wanted to go over really quick to show you. We have three golden celebration, one, two, and then the other one is over right here. So right over right here. And uh, as I said, I can always open up a little more and let the sun in as it needed from on this side. And then we have beautiful lady in red ginger wine nine bark that are planted in a grouping of three one right there one here and one here and i think this is just going to be really really pretty it's coming along so well i am so excited about this project although it's been kind of a crazy project to start in the middle of the summer but it's looking really good and you can see this area here is also coming together so well they're maturing i wanted to update you ice plants are starting to bud a little bit as uh since they've been planted i saw this yesterday i was really excited so they will actually start flowering and the roses are starting to look i have several buds on that one also uh, salvias are starting to bud as well um, you can see, look how big these guys have gotten. These are the limelight hydrangeas that we planted. And they are, um, they were very small when I planted. And look, in just a couple of weeks or, or a month, these guys are really coming uh, into maturity really well. So anyway, it's looking really, really good. I do need to move this container up a little bit to be a little more symmetric here because I kind of figured the center from the rocks down versus the top but I will get that fixed before I plant them. And just looking down this way, we have this beautiful um, snow fountain cherry that it's starting to do well and um, coming to life. You can see it's starting to bud a little more here. And then in the background, we have our golden celebrations, our blue hydrangeas and uh, ginger wine nine bark. And so anyway, I'm really pleased how this whole thing is flowing together so far. And then I will update you what is our next steps for this project. So, but the hard part is pretty much done. Uh, digging is done. I have a little bit more digging to go, but for most part, it's coming together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos if you like them. And uh, uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.